Hi folks, David Farmer here, and today I'm just going to show you a quick little trick to reveal the underlying audio that's um, within a clip that's already on your timeline. Let's say that, that we're going to deal with this little piece of audio here, and let's say it's a gunshot or thunderclap or something like that, and we want to see how many other options we may have in this library file. So we may go in here and pull out this like this, or check out the beginning, you know, to see what other options are there. But there's a, a cooler and faster way to do this. So you go to the Edit menu, and you go under Trim Clip, and you choose to File Boundaries, and it will expand that clip to the farthest it can on either end. Now, consequently, you can do to the head of the clip or to the end of the clip. Uh, file Start goes to the head, and to File End goes to the tail. And you may wonder what happens if you have, you know, clips on the boundaries. You may not want to do that so you overwrite these other audio clips. But you don't have to worry about that because it doesn't expand over top of audio that's already on the timeline. You see that? So that's kind of a safety mechanism there. So you're free to use this without worrying of overwriting things that are already on the timeline. So this prevents you from having to manually do it like this, which, you know, I've seen people do. And, I, of course, I did myself until I found this under the menu. But I thought that was a pretty cool little trick, and hopefully that will speed things up for you. All right, happy editing.